Luke, and I'm here to tell you about an exciting trip we have coming up over the horizon. Um, in the summer of 2024, so that's not next this summer, but next summer, we're going to Tokyo. Now, this will be a STEM-focused trip, but it is available to all majors, um, all STEM, all VPA, uh, open to all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Um, not open to seniors because it's going to be next, next summer, and they would have already graduated at this point. Um, anyway, so while we're in Japan, um, like I said, it's going to be very heavily STEM focused, and this is a preview of some of the things we're going to see there. But not just STEM, but cultural related as well. Um, you can see the culture of foods, the culture of shopping and fashion, the religious culture with the shrines and the plazas they have around, um, kind of the overall culture, and what we probably all know most um, about Japan is the uh, anime and video games. One of the things we're going to be doing is going to Cyberdyne Studios, um, where they're going to show us how they make hybrid assistive limb technology. So this is prosthetic uh, robot arms, robot legs, um, things of that nature. Also be going to the Maglev Exhibition Center, where if you think of Japan, you may think of bullet trains, uh, going to a deep dive on how they work. and. Um, look at the engineering behind the bullet trains. Also going to the Miraikan Museum, where we will have a, be able to have a conversation with the world famous Asimo robot, uh, among, of course, other things at the museum. So in addition to Tokyo, we're also going to Tsukuba, which is known in Japan as Science City. Um, so you can see here, we have a lot of um, robotics uh, exhibits and places that we're going to be visiting, but also um, we're going to be visiting places related to Japanese space program, the JAXA, uh, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. Basically, this is Japan's NASA. So we're going to be touring, I mean, Japan's NASA, um, getting a overview of their technology, um, tour their facilities, um, and see what they have going on from an engineering perspective. Um, in addition to Tsukuba, we're also going to Akihabara, which is um, when I went to Japan, uh, my personal favorite part of the trip, this is where my hotel was. Uh, this is the center of the world for video games and anime. And um, one of the things we're doing on the trip is having a day tour of Akihabara. The Rinkai Disaster Prevention Park, um, we'll be going in and seeing uh, what Japanese builders and civil engineers do uh, to protect their buildings from earthquakes. Also be experiencing a real-life earthquake simulator. So I know we don't get a whole lot of earthquakes in Texas. This is going to be a good chance to feel one for yourself in a, of course, safe environment. We have the Science Square showroom. Um, well, they'll be exhibiting some of the most innovative applications of robotics, some of the cutting-edge technology in this area. And of course, this could be you. How can this be you? You need to get your parents, guardians, um, whoever is financially responsible, to the meeting. That meeting is going to be March 29th at 6 p.m. That is going to be uh, Wednesday, March 29th at 6 p.m. in the uh, I Am Terrell cafeteria. Registration is mandatory in order to attend the meeting. So here is how you register. Uh, you scan this QR code, and what this QR code does is it composes a message. Um, now, the at the top of the message, there's going to be this phone number kind of dummied in, the 555555. Um, you replace that number with your parent, guardian, whoever would be coming to this meeting. Um, replace that with their number and hit the send invite button. Um, if for whatever reason that doesn't work, you can send whoever is um, would be going to the meeting this bit.ly link um, and that will allow them to register. So hopefully I'll see y'all there.